Hey, Arthur Images here. And today, in behind the edit, I'll show you how I took this image and turned it into that. It's another episode of Behind the Edit, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, so this photo, it's a simple edit. It's nothing crazy. Uh, and when I say simple, compared to how I usually edit, uh, my portraits. This one has a little more of a subtle touch uh, to it. Uh, the idea was it was the end of a shoot that we did outside at an outdoor hockey rink. It's the middle of winter. We shot this at the end of December. Uh, we did a couple other uh, photos which turned out great and towards the end I was like hey can we you uh, guys line up and let's get a face-off photo and it, something that resembles like uh, a face off during the game when you're about to drop the puck. And I got Taylor, uh, who was uh, assisting me for uh, the lighting, uh, put the light directly overhead. And that created a very dramatic effect. And the sense of you had the light, the key light at the back of the hockey player's head, and it came straight down, uh, hit the ice, and then reflected up, illuminating their faces. So, this is the shot and I always start by cleaning up the photo. So this is what we had to start and I always start by getting rid of unnecessary distractions, things that I don't want. So there are a few things. Uh, this little orange uh, spot in the middle of the frame here, I think that was a street light through the trees. And then Taylor is a little bit in the shot here, you can see him on the edges. So. I uh, just selected him and then used content aware to get them out. And then I had to rebuild some of the windows here on the end and straight up the lines of the fence. Uh, just because content aware doesn't do a perfect job every time you use it. And then the next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to give like a homey feel. These are homes in the background here, these are houses. And you know, even though it was late in the evening, the there were no lights and I thought oh, I could add some more life to the photo by adding a few window lights. So uh, the first thing I did was just went and I added some window lights just to kind of make it a little bit lively in the background. And then the other thing that I did here is I added a blur to the image. And the reason being why I added the blur, if I turn these layers off, I couldn't help but every time I looked at the photo, my attention went right here to the three windows in the middle of the frame. So one way I worked around that was adding this blur and not just blurring the background, but adding like a, like a subtle radial blur, sort of like a little spin effect. And what that does is it just softens the windows just enough where my attention now falls in the foreground. Instead of looking directly into the background, my attention comes a little bit closer to the foreground and I'm looking at the hockey players. So yeah, this is my background assets. That's everything I have there. I'm using my traffic light uh, editing system and traffic lights. I What it means is I start at red and I work my way up to orange, amber, green. And once I get to the green layers, that's when I'm doing my finishing. And my red is my background, my foundation layer. So that's just sort of a universal system I developed for myself when I'm doing my, all my portraits. Kind of keeps everything consistent and allows me to come back in the future and do edits if I need. So the next uh, layers, layers that we're gonna move into uh, my subject layers. And in here, I have a dodge and burn layer, which I did not use for the shoot because it was pretty simple. But what I did do is come in here and I did some frequency separation on my subjects. And the first thing I did before I even get to that is I like I cut them out. I cut all my subjects out of all my photos. It's just good practice to isolate your subject from all the other elements in your photo. It takes time, it takes a lot of time, but trust me, if you come back down the road to edit this photo, if you wanna put some text behind it, like for a YouTube cover or a banner or a poster or whatever, you don't have to do that work because it's been already done up front. That's something I preach all the time. Separate your subjects from the background. Cut them out. So I cut them out. 
And then what I did is I did a run of frequency separation. So on this layer is all my subject shadows. And when you're dealing with masks, white reveals and black hides. So here, white, these are all the shadows. And then here, these are all the highlights. See the white helmet and the white socks there. So if I turn this on and off, you could just look at the helmet and see the difference it makes. And then look at the shadows, just slightly look at the shadows. Everything was very minimal on this edit. So during the, the shoot, the sun went down, it got very dark and you can't see it much in the video, but it was snowing just just a little bit but prior to doing this shot the snow was coming down a lot heavier and we were still out there we were still skating we were still taking pictures and i wanted to just recreate that moment so i thought i'd add some snow to this image and that's what i love about photography and uh, that's what i love about doing these portrait sessions is that you're really creating a mood so if i'm not able to capture it in the camera I can always come back to Photoshop and then reconstruct the image to, to tell the story that I want to tell or to convey the mood or the feeling that I want to, to share by somebody looking at the image. So uh, I went and got some snow and I put the snow in. And the other thing that I did as well is instead of just dropping it in like this, I added just the same soft spin blur or radial blur that just kind of added to the whole aesthetic and just brought some more life back into the into this portrait. In the finishing layer, I added a vignette and just did some extra sharpening. But there you go, yes, that was the edit. This is before, and this is after. So there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment or you can find me on Instagram, Arthur Images. Uh, find me there, send me a DM and, DM, and uh, yeah, I will love to have a chat with you. So that's it for this episode of Behind the Edit. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit the like button below. I would greatly appreciate that. And yeah, until the next episode of Behind the Edit, I will see you guys then. Have a good one. I'm out of here. See you next time. Peace.